Hi everyone, it is time for another Genshin Tips video. For this video, I'm going to be talking all about how to gain friendship XP much faster, or if you are not yet sure of how to gain friendship XP, this video is for you. I'm going to be going down through all the steps that I do and how I'm able to get friendship 10 for most of my characters. So let's get started right away and I hope you enjoy and find something useful. So if you have seen my account tour, you might know that I already have a few characters at Friendship 10. Well, maybe most of them. I have been playing for quite a while now, so I do have lots of time to get all these characters raised and also in the Friendship XP. But there's a few tips that you can do to make this go by a lot faster. This is the first tip. What you want to do is make a party full of all the characters that you want their friendship XP to go up faster. For example, Kazuha, Haizu, Noel, and Aloy. All of them are not yet friendship 10, so I've made a whole team dedicated to them just for friendship XP. The way this team works is that after you go and complete a ley line or do a boss fight with your normal team, then you go ahead and use this team and switch to claim rewards. If your friendship team is not your main team, which means they might not be built or they might not have any levels, anything like that, then you can always use your main team to fight, like this team is my normal one. So let's go quickly fight this ley line. So after I'm done fighting, as you can see, the ley line is ready to be collected. All I would do is swap to my next party, which is my friendship team, and deploy them. I would go over here and then claim rewards. As you can see, I got 20 friendship XP and that's for everybody. This also works if you're fighting in a boss, as long as it's not one of the weekly bosses, although you could do it for the wolf boss. But if you are in a domain where you cannot exit, you cannot switch the party there. So that's why if you are fighting ley lines or bosses, make sure you switch to your friendship team so that you get the friendship XP. This friendship team also works for commissions. Once you're done with all your commissions, you can go up to Catherine and claim your commission rewards with your friendship team and claim them. And here you get more friendship XP and it is quite a lot, so you might not want to miss this opportunity if in case you need more friendship XP. The next thing you should remember is that usually in all your four commissions, there is one commission that involves speaking to an NPC or something that requires you to talk to someone, do a task, and you don't have to fight. Usually I save this quest to the very end so that I'm going to be doing this with my friendship team because after doing your commissions, you will also gain a little bit of friendship XP. So anytime you get the opportunity to get friendship XP, you will want to use your friendship team. Sometimes it is kind of hard if it's especially you're farming artifacts or you're in a domain that's really difficult, you might not get the chance to switch to your friendship team and that is totally fine because eventually you will get there and as long as you keep having this friendship team and you don't claim commission rewards with your normal team which is probably already friendship 10, then you will always get more friendship XP. But that is not the main point of this video or at least it is not the main way that I gain friendship XP. If you are AR35 and above and finish the Liyue Archon quest where you have to fight child, you most likely got the quest to get the Serenity Pot. A lot of you also are late game players, so you probably already know what this is, but it is basically your little realm where you can farm, build, even craft and cook, but most importantly, gain rewards. So what I do is in the realm, I will place all my characters that require friendship XP in the area so that when I claim this right here, this is friendship XP, and then I also claim my ductile coins. One thing you have to keep in mind is that if you have a teapot realm that is designated mainly for farming, you will want to put those characters in that realm. For example, Noelle, she is not yet friendship 10, that is why I've put her in here so that she can gain friendship XP because if you put characters in your teapot, you can collect friendship XP for those characters. Only the characters you put in your teapot. Now Xiangling is already friendship 10, but I don't have any other characters that need to be raised in terms of friendship XP, so I just leave her there so that I get the adeptal energy. I do this for multiple islands and I have them in specific corners. If you do want to build your teapot that resembles 
rules, maybe Liwe, Mondstadt, etc. And you don't always want to put the characters you need friendship for. You can always just make a second realm or use a different location. But once you're pretty much done with all farming and got your teams at friendship 10, then you don't really have to use the teapot method. If you simply abandon your teapot, which is totally fine because I did at some point, but make sure you go back to it frequently because trust rank and the friendship XP can actually be pretty helpful. If you're really looking to collect those name cards or just max out your characters, this is a great way to do it. You don't have to be logged into Genshin to gain the friendship XP, you can simply open the game, put in the characters, and close it out, and a few hours later you will have a little bit of friendship XP. But try to make this part of your daily routine where you come here and collect it. You don't want to let it sit too long or else this will fill up and some friendship XP will be going to waste because you're not putting them into the character. Just remember that using the character often can also get you friendship XP, so if you have a new character character and you probably made them your main DPS or something, like Kaza, he gains friendship XP a lot faster because I bring him to every domain, every boss fight, everything, and that's why he's getting all this XP, rather than Haizo, which I barely use and haven't really leveled up yet, and he's not getting as much friendship XP. Try your best to involve your characters in fights or any time they get the chance to have friendship XP, bring them into battle. Sometimes you might even have a three person team and you're just bringing this character into a domain just so that they get the XP. For example, Klee, Xingqiu, and Bennett, they're already fine, just the three of them, but I bring Kazuo along so that he can get some friendship XP, plus he's really beneficial if I'm trying to make a vaporized team. It really depends on the scenario. And overall, friendship XP does take a little bit of time, but hopefully doing a few of these things will speed up the process. I know this week's video was a little bit short, but I do have quite a busy week, and also the new update is coming soon, and surely there will be more content. So I hope to see you all in our next video, hopefully something here was helpful, or if you're just here to enjoy, maybe watch a video and take a break, that is totally fine too. I hope you all have a wonderful day, good luck on your pulls, and good luck in 3.0 if you're pulling for any of those characters. Make sure to check out the community page, I have plenty of pulls there, and all socials are linked in the description. So I'll I'll see you all next time and have a wonderful day. Bye!